So I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. It's an older piece of, of wood. You can see it's probably been wet at some point a lot. Um, but so that would be a good test for this uh, with a little bit of wet wood. Let's see what happens. Pull the ball. Put the butt down. Hello fellow travelers, this is Sheldon here. I am going to do a quick review on the Ryobi 12 amp log splitter. Uh, it's very small, you could put it on a tabletop actually, and I'm actually sitting next to it on a stool. But I want to see what size logs it can actually split. Uh, so far, to be honest with you, I have been impressed. It's pretty strong for a small uh, like I said, it's not commercial grade. It's not a big one. It's very, very small. Um, I'll get some video of that coming up. But I'm really impressed with the wood. It have not, has ha not had any problems whatsoever splitting any wood down, uh, big size wood down to uh, be able to go ahead and use it in the fire. So uh, let me go ahead. I'll get you some video and then I'll give you a review at the end. So this is the little Ryobi log splitter that I picked up at Home Depot. It's actually regularly $2.99 and they had it on clearance for $180. I believe it was the last one and that's why they marked it down to get rid of it. It is the end of June right now in upstate New York so they probably wouldn't be selling too many of these going forward. But you can see right down there it says it's the Ryobi AC log splitter. It's 15 amp. Um, so far I have to say I'm pretty impressed with it. It's got a really great safety feature. Um, so you have to use both hands in order to operate it. So you got to put one finger on this to hold it down. And then there's a safety pin over here. You have to pull this. So your other hand has to be on that pushing it down. So both of your hands are free. You don't have to worry about getting your hands uh, caught into the splitter at all. And unfortunately, uh, when I was a junior in high school, I watched a girl helping her dad with a log splitter. And it actually split her pinky finger right off, right at the bone. And uh, she lost that finger. A uh, young lady, only about 16, 17 years old. So um, I'm very weary of, and I've seen an accident with these things. And even when I'm working on my car, uh, and actually there's Sexy Red right there making an appearance. Even when I'm working on my car, I'm very cognizant of making sure safety comes first, being very I'm careful. Not perfect, but uh, um, and I don't do this for a living. I don't sell wood. I just camp a little and so um, I've not operated one of these probably since I was 17 But again, I'm very cognizant of safety even when I'm working on my cars anything like that My wife knows that I'm very safe. I wear goggles when I mow the lawn. I don't want to lose an eye this late in life um, So I love that safety feature right there. Unfortunately, um, the wood slides around a little bit on where you put the, the wood on there when it slides and uh, slides up and splits it and sometimes it slips so there's probably a way around that I could probably bungee cord and keep it in place I haven't figured that out yet uh, I'll look online see if anybody has a life hack for that um, but in the meantime here I'm gonna go ahead and show you I'm gonna start with some smaller wood uh, an old piece of wood a really big size piece of wood uh, so you can see how well this thing actually works like I said I'm very very uh, impressed with it so I'm going to go ahead now, I'm going to pull the pin out, the safety pin on this. This way some kid can't come over and grab it. I would never leave it unattended and plugged in regardless. Like I said, I'm usually pretty up, up on safety. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. And I'll get right back to you. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. It's an older piece of, of wood. You can see it's probably been wet at some point a lot. Um, but so that would be a good test for this uh, with a little bit of wet wood. Let's see what happens. I'm going to pull the button, push the button down. Yes. Split it with no problem. I'm going to go ahead and split it again. going to split it one last time. You can see it slides around, unfortunately, from the vibration for the uh, splitter. But let's see what happens here.
as you can see, it's splitting it very well. Let's go ahead and split the other half of that. Split that easily. Let's take a look at another piece. This one has a notch in it. Let's see how it does with this. This one's got a notch in it. Let's give it a shot. It's a bigger piece too. Let's see what happens. Split it right through the notch with no problem. Let's go back on that one again. right through the notch. So, so far, this little machine is doing a pretty good job. Remember, I'm not a professional, I don't do this all the time, and this little machine right here is basically made for somebody like uh, uh, me and my family. You know, weekend campers, uh, I guess if you were living on the road uh, full time in an RV, um, cheap RV living with Bob Wells, kind of comes to mind. Uh, this would be great too. I think if I remember right on the box, it weighs about 75 pounds. So it's a, it is a little heavy, um, but it does have wheels that you can move it around easy enough. Me and my wife picked it up out of the truck with no problem and dropped it down um, when we bought it. So it's, it's not that heavy, but it's actually pretty powerful. Um, splitting the wood with no problem. Um, I have to say, as of right now, it's well worth the $180. We did buy the warranty protection plan. I think it was $25. Uh, or $29.99, something like that, for a two-year warranty on it. So um, we are covered with it in case anything goes wrong, if there's a defect, anything like that. Um, so overall, I, I have to say that I'm very impressed. It's, it's very easy for me. I can even keep it at the home and split a bunch of wood and just throw it in the truck and bring it up so I don't even have to waste my time up here um, at camp. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and split uh, another couple of pieces of wood, of wood so you can see how that's working, and then I'm going to give it a final review when I'm done. So, here's one more bigger piece. Give this a shot. It's got an option to use on the bigger piece, like this one. Split that, no problem. Last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get this log shot, see how this goes. Unfortunately, there's that sliding. Uh, again, that's something that I'm going to have to figure out. Uh, I'll find a light pack on that somewhere, I'm sure. So I'm just going to flip it over on the other side and see how it goes. So there you have it. My review on the Ryobi 12 amp log splitter. I have to say, it's two thumbs up for sure. It works really, really well. You could use this as a tabletop. 
you could pick this up, put it on a table so you could stand up and do it. Or right now I'm sitting down on a bench or on a uh, on a stool, so I can sit right down here. I have to worry about my back. Some of these, you know, the big commercial size these people use, I got to stand up all day. They got to flip the wood. I can sit down on this stool, which is what I'm doing right here, right now. I'm sitting down and um, put the wood on there with no problem. Uh, please remember, this is not a safety video. I don't do this for a living, so I don't know every safety hack that there is, but I, I use it according to the manufacturer's specifications using the, uh, the two buttons uh, with my hands. I saw one where a guy put a bungee cord on that red button, the power button, so he could use another hand on that. That is a mistake. That is an accident waiting to happen. Like I said, unfortunately, I saw an accident in person at a, a friend's house, a young lady that I used to hang out with when I was in high school split her pinky right off, right at the knuckle, and they couldn't save it. And so now she has four, uh, four fingers on her hand. Um, and her father was letting her use the log splitter, and uh, that's a mistake. So I'm going to use it the way it says to use it. I would suggest that you do as well. And, and with any power equipment you use, please try to be safe with the stuff. Um, and I know um, around Albany three, four years ago, some guy had just started working for a tree company with a with a chipper, a big chipper machine, and that young man fell in it. Um, and uh, obviously he passed away. That's awful. So I am not going to be anybody who's going to do that. I don't want to see my son doing any of that stuff. I don't want to see my grandchildren doing any of that stuff. It makes me cringe because I've seen an accident in person. So I hope uh, if you get a chance and you need something like this for camp, it's well worth the 180 I paid for it. It's probably well worth the $299 if you can't get it on sale. I definitely uh, recommend it to anybody. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have any comments, please go ahead and leave those. But please remember, my channel is a family channel. I, uh, please keep all of your comments clean. And I would really like it if you would subscribe. I want to put out some more of these um, reviews on things that I buy along with the vacation ones that, uh, that Tara and I do. Uh, because again, we just want to share the stuff. We're not trying to get a million followers or anything like that. If your family sees something that we're doing on vacation, and it might give you an idea whether or not you want to do it or not. And we'll be honest with you how the vacation went. We've been honest in all of our videos. And any of the power equipment I may end up doing some reviews or whatever I do reviews on, I'll be honest. And so this way you see those and you can decide whether you want to use them or not. So again, I hope this video was helpful. And uh, if you have any comments, again, go ahead and leave those. Be glad to answer any questions. And I'll see you on down the line.